Salute, saints. Shalom. It's your brother, Remain True. You're Ram Yahweh. All right, so we're going to take a, um, another look at the uh, um, book of Genesis, all right, chapter 25 and 25, and, uh, and, and make sure we, you know, take note of Esau, his identity, um, what his name mean, how he got his names, and the meaning of his name according to this the canon in Genesis and then we're gonna compare that to what we see in Jasher and we're gonna also take a look at Nimrod's dream concerning Abraham uh, and Abraham's seed okay all right so remember we said that Edom and Adam are the same names Adam Adawam Okay, Adam and Adam Adawam, all right, meaning red, okay? But as we remember, uh, the definition for the name Esau, that mean red. It means fully, complete, all right? It means complete. That's why they called him Esau, because he was, he came out red and hairy all over like a babe, meaning he looked at, he looked uh complete in other words he looked as if he came out developed all right looking like a man already he was ruddy he was hairy okay he was hairy and red all over he was a rough looking babe and babe's supposed to be smooth men are rough with hair all over the place okay that's the only reason why he was called esau Let's, let's look at the scripture in Genesis and then we're going to look at the scripture in Jasher and, and make sure we see that they line up concerning his name Esau. And we're going to also see that they line up concerning his name Edom. All right. All right. Genesis 25 and 25. And Yahweh said, in, oh. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment and they called his name Esau Okay All right now, let's look at Genesis 25 and 30 and Esau said to Jacob Feed me I pray thee with that same Red pottage that same Adam see that word right there is literally Adam that same red pottage all right, that word in Hebrew is Adam. It's red, okay? Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. What? Meaning what? Red. Because he ate the red pottage. Why? He ate the red pottage. Thus Esau despised his birthright. That's why his name was called Red. Not because he's some red looking hairy white man, people. Okay? All right, let's just get that right. And Esau said, Behold, I am faint at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sweared to him and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way thus Esau despised his birthright now that's dealing with Esau Harry rough okay ready ruddy all right all right so again we're gonna look at Jasher the book of Jasher chapter 26 all right for the precept of how Esau got his name Esau and see if it was because he was hairy and red all over like we saw in Genesis Genesis 26 and 15 no 14 Joshua 26 to 14 
And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And then what? And then what? Oh, and the and all the people of the land called his name Esau. Why? Saying that this one was made complete from the womb. You see that? So they called him Esau because he was made complete from the womb. Meaning what? He came out the womb looking like a grown man. Why? Because he was already red like men would become red. Okay, once the blood starts showing through your skin, you become red. When you first born, you're pale. Okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody pale when they're born, even white babies. You know what I'm saying? You might start beginning to see their blood show through their skin, but that's not their color. You see what I'm saying? Esau uh, didn't come out looking like a red blotch of blood showing through his skin. No, he came out already red meaning with color and pigmentation he was already brown ready growing into uh looking like a man already with color and hair and everything coming out the womb that's all it means he looked like adam he looked like a man he looked like adam that's why they um you know said that he looked complete because he came out looking like a grown man all right, I hope we can get that. All right, so the people of the land, <laughs> you see that? So that was the that was the that's what the neighborhood started calling Esau. The neighborhood, the people that was that witnessed him, you know, be born, and and his appearance. They titled him Esau. They called him that. Okay, it's basically calling them little man. I mean, everybody got a little man in their family. And they might not call them little man because of how they, they came out looking like a little man. They may, you might call that, that young fella a little man because he's just like this mature young boy, you know, for his age or something. You know what I'm saying? But like little man, I mean, it's no different from the nickname Esau had. It was just red man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, associating the man with... His legacy, which was a pot of red pottage. <laughs> Sadly for Esau. All right. Okay. So um, we saw that the people called him Esau because he came out red and hairy all over, meaning that Esau meant he came out complete, made complete from the womb. All right. Okay. Cool.